Hello YouTube, what is up? Eroctic here, back again in the another Far Cry 5 video and in today's video we are gonna talk about how I'm farming in-game currency dollars. Just in case you didn't know, dollar is the main currency in the Far Cry 5 and with the dollars you can buy every single item in the game. Guns, bullets, medications, grenades, vehicles, cosmetics, weapon skins, everything. And since I'm a content creator I need a lot of those dollars because I need to buy as much as modifications and weapons possible just for the sake of the quality content on this channel and because I need to recommend to you guys what to buy what not. Anyways I was forced to find the solution of my problem, grind as much as money possible in a short period of time so I do not waste so much time on useless stuff. And of course because I am the Skrullord, I am the Eroctic, I have found a way how to farm around 4.5 thousand dollars in 99 seconds. Before we continue, let me introduce you with the in-game feature hunting. There are two different ways to hunt animals. You can hunt fishes with a fishing rod or you can hunt wild animals with a recurve bow. Of course you can pull out the light machine gun and spray and pray the rain of the bullets through the forest, but keep in mind that killing the animals with ballistic weaponry is gonna make their skin damaged. Or in the other words you're gonna get only one skin from the wild animal, but if you hunt that animal down with the recurve bow or with the normal arrows, you're gonna get double the amount of the skin aka two skins, which is gonna automatically double the profit. And speaking about the double profit, there is actually a multiplicative way how to quadruple the profit. There is a perk in the perk skill tree called Harvest Master. It is gonna double the loot reward from the plants and the animals. Which means if you kill a wild animal with a recurve bow, you're gonna get 4 skins per animal. And I'm definitely recommending you to get Harvest Master before even thinking about making a profit with the animal hunt. And speaking about perks, I would also recommend you to take a journey pack because if you're gonna follow my method you're gonna have full bag of the animal skins in no time and you're gonna waste more time in the loading screen than actually killing the animals. And if you have some extra perk points lying around you might also think about getting the perk called quiver because it is gonna increase the maximum capacity of the arrows that you can carry at one time. But as you can see I did not unlock the quiver perk just because because while you're killing the animals, in the process of collecting the skin from them you're gonna also retrieve the arrows from the animals that you killed. And even if you miss the shots, don't worry, just run over the area where you were previously shooting, you're gonna still retrieve the arrows from the floor. Now during your exploration of Montana, you're gonna stumble upon signs. And those signs are gonna reveal the points of interest where you can hunt specific animals and it is gonna reveal some good fishing spots, but in my tactic we will not do any of those. The only time when I'm actually using those signs and specific fishing spots and specific locations of the random wild animals is when I need to unlock the challenges so I can unlock the perks for my character. There is a way how you can force spawn random wild animal wherever and whenever. There is a throwable item in a game called bait and as you can already see from the footage in the background. I'm collecting those baits of the dead cows that I kill. Do you remember that journey pack perk that I was talking about previously? With this perk you can carry 6 baits at a time and that is gonna be more than enough to hoard tons of the animal skins every single run. And if we calculate those 6 baits times 4 skins, that is 24 skins every single run. Although maximum inventory capacity for the skins is 20, so you're gonna always have that one bait off. Well, it depends on the luck. The reason why it depends on the luck is because every single time when you throw the bait, there are 5 different animals that are gonna spawn. Bear, Wolf leader, wolf, lynx and a dog. If the dog spawns you are gonna kill him but you're not gonna get any baits or any skin because in most of the countries we are still not eating the dogs but hey it is only 2018 right? So every single time when the dog spawns that is the bad roll. You just wasted the bait. From my testing and trust me I was killing the animals a lot in the last couple of days it seems that RNG is divided equally which means every single 
animal that can spawn on a bait has 20% chance of spawn. Or in the other words, sometimes you're gonna see three bears, sometimes you're gonna see three dogs. It all depends on the luck. But in most of the cases, you're gonna end up in absurd amount of the profit in no time. Bear is gonna give you the biggest amount of the currency, but there is a catch. Bear is the animal with the highest amount of the hit points and you're gonna need to shoot the bear the biggest amount of times. And of course, like in any game, I would strongly recommend you to shoot all the animals in the head. If you're gonna do that correctly, you're gonna need to shoot the bear three times in the head and then he's gonna start to run away. Last arrow is gonna go directly in his tush tush and the bear is gonna drop. But in case if you fail to shoot your arrows correctly, bear is gonna be super aggressive towards you and he's gonna most likely kill you. But don't worry, Dr. Eroctic has a cure for that. There is one more item that is really important in my tactic. Thank god bears still do not know how to climb on trees, in the video games of course, but we will not climb on top of the trees in this tactic. Although we are gonna climb on top of the vehicles, on top of the van to be more specific. So I would strongly recommend you to buy a van because you're gonna use the van for two different things. You're gonna use that van as a hunting stand every single time before you throw your first bait you're gonna climb on top of the van and then throw a bait with this tactic not even one single animal can reach you so even if you fail those shots on a bear you're gonna be out of his reach and you're gonna be safe and of course, surprise, surprise, you're gonna use that van as your transport. Every single time when you decide to go on animal hunt, you're gonna jump inside of the van and you're gonna drive yourself into the Jones region. Jones region is definitely my favorite farming spot because it has a lot of open farming fields. And guess who is spawning on the open fields? Ding, 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 you are correct. Cows are spawning on the open fields and it is a perfect a legitimate spot to farm infinite amount of baits and of course it is perfect because animals cannot get out of your line of sight and while you're gonna hunt those cows for the baits in case if your vehicle or cow is way too far away i would also remind you that there is a consumable in the game called the fest it requires bliss oil and jimson weed to create it and once you use that consumable your movement speed is gonna be drastically increased so feel free to use that to min max your time efficiency the fast consumable is also really helpful to get away from the bulls you see there are not only cows that are spawning on the farms bulls are also spawning over there and boy oh boy bulls are aggressive as much as bears are so you are gonna have no problems with escaping away from them and by the way if you do not see cows in your line of sight enter inside of the van and drive a little bit you're gonna force spawn them in no time you should also know that cows are not the only animals that are gonna be force spawned sometimes there can be a wolf pack that is gonna be spawned sometimes skunk or any other wild animal so feel free to hunt those down also and like i already said since you're on the open field you will have no problems in spotting them and there is one more great tip that i can give you in this tactic and that is you can also buy arrows and sell items on the vehicle spawn locations you just need to open the car spot and you can trade and there is one more catch that is gonna greatly increase the efficiency of your animal hunting and that is map heat in the far cry 5 there are three different regions that are controlled by the three different lieutenants and of course the more chaos and damage you are doing towards the specific lieutenants the more heat you're gonna generate towards the specific region or in the other words more enemies are gonna spawn so the best period to farm money with my tactic is before you even started with this region or after you defeated john the lieutenant of holland valley region i hope you guys enjoyed in watching this video tell me your thoughts are you using different method that is actually better than mine and of course if you want to see more of me i would strongly recommend you to click that subscribe button with the notifications on i am also live on twitch.tv slash eroctic every single day except mondays thank you guys for watching again See you in the next one. Eroctic out. Shit.